without a cocktail. Right? Yeah, that's that's on you. It's on you. There's, there's no evidence also, of there's no evidence of what's in this too, delightful sorry. boiled sports uh, tumbler. This boiled sports metal tumbler keeping your stuff cold and safe. Hey, I'm drinking yeah. apple juice. Very if you good. like it in the can, Anish has got right. the got got the uh, that's product, right. product for you. Boiled yeah. sports heavy. We're talking about here boiled oh. sports diesel. I wonder how much it would cost us to get our logo on a beer. Probably uh, not as much. As a a frighteningly little amount. <laughs> of no, you can do you six can packs. Yeah, you can do bottles very, very affordably. We I get as well. I think we know what's going to be at the next tailgate. Well, that's right. BS, BS, BS swill. Beer. That's what exactly. we'll call it. That's right. The exactly. real trick is to like find somebody who owns a brewery and getting like a special beer that's that seasons whatever. With boiled sports on the level, or that somebody who trick. works for a bourbon distillery, for example. Right. <laughs> I mean, if only we knew someone like that. If only. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows if people are watching us on Twitter? Because it's I I don't know if the API Why are we is getting pushing no, out nothing in the margin. We're getting Twitter's something. Broken. Yeah, uh, Twitter might not be working, but YouTube is working. So hey, hello, hello, everybody. Okay. I think I think Twitter might be I think might be okay. It when you go live, delay. you just go live on YouTube. It doesn't. When you do the quick cast, it doesn't. Yeah, it's just. Twitter. It doesn't also go to Twitter, right? Or I mean, it's it's just YouTube. I don't it's just do. YouTube. I don't. And you get there's you a get way a to do. Of, oh, well, a yeah. bunch of it just there came. There we go. Hey, everybody. Go. I, I, it's this. warm in my house, John. That's why I don't have a hoodie on. It's, if, it's like it was seventy degrees today, so not turn on the AC yet. If okay. if you're not watching the quick cast, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Smash yeah. that like button. Smash that. Subscribe. So are we waiting Subscribe. for Michael or uh, no? He's here. Yes. He's here. Oh, He's he? on. You no, just maybe. haven't. Yeah, he's good. He's, he's doing he's well. Here. He's here with us all the time. Yeah, he's yeah, kind of like, here. like the Holy Spirit is my co-pilot when I drive. <laughs> Michael's my co-pilot when I do post games. He's always here in spirit. Uh, he's always there. It's just like we've been doing the the basketball beat, but uh, you know, you guys just don't record it. Just don't record it and no, don't no, no. broadcast. We don't post. It. Yeah, exactly. We it's just doing it. talking we... like it's a show. Exactly. There's a whole awesome. bunch of them in the can. He's just gonna. They're gonna all get posted at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, we're we're listen. waiting. It's like uh, it's like a uh, you know a, you can binge HBO it. Max. It's like an yeah. HBO Max show where they're just gonna drop it all on a random Wednesday, and you can just right. read the whole season. <laughs> so how about that start? November twentieth. <laughs> oh, how many jokes? Can you make? Fletcher yeah, Lawyer's awesome. pretty good, isn't he? Wow, yeah. Fletcher Lawyer's never gonna miss a three pointer again. Uh, uh, that's not fair. That's not fair. Well, you know, I wanted to, so so it is. What is it, Anish? It's the basketball beat, correct? It's the bat. Where I split the different, I split the baby here, so you can call it whatever <laughs> we want to. It's the basketball beat. Uh, it's episode three of the season. I don't. Know. It's exactly. thank goodness there. Thank goodness the Purdue pods podosphere has expanded because you have a lot to. It's watch. huge. It's There's a lot huge. now, and and we've talked about this before. I like to give them a shout out on our show. Good yeah. for them. Good for you guys for yeah. for getting serious. And showing a niche and Michael how it's done. I All it took. Was here, I want. I want to replay to something. I hope too. Dylan tun- tunes in though. But I want to replay something. Dylan's that a happened. good guy. Dylan, okay. friend of the Dylan's show. Dylan's a great. Guy. There he oh, is. Look, look, he's here. Okay, so Dylan, he says, "Hey guys, I love your show. I'd like to sponsor your show." This this happened, and we're like, "Great!" And because he, he was starting a business, and so we're like, "Awesome!" Oh, yeah. But just wait until it's off the ground. Business never gets off the ground. Then he starts a podcast and acts like, hey, now, now, now he's we're competitor. competing. Exactly. Now we have to kill you. How, oh, how the turntables. That's it. <laughs> now we have to behead you. This We have no choice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what else are we supposed to do? Mercy. Mercy. He got a new uh, horse, by the way. I bet uh, he's the only one. Uh, the only po- the Purdue podcaster with a horse. What yes. quick come up with a horse pun, a Purdue horse pun. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> By the end of the podcast, uh, we need to come up with a horse pun. Dylan Placing, that, never should never winning. Play. Oh no, no, that's not a pun. That's just me. <laughs> that's not a pun. Sorry. That's How many the... hands high is Zach Eady, Dylan? That's there you go. How many horsepower does he have? <laughs> so here, Anish, I'm gonna I'm gonna confess something. Jay's heard me do this already today because we be sidebarred. Okay. <laughs> Because I wasn't sure, honestly, I really wasn't sure if I, I pissed you off on that thing. And I was like, man, did I, what happened here? Um, I and uh, I still don't know so, what so, so here I start talking aloud 
to Jay about all the Illinois people that have popped up in my feed and Michigan oh, this State. Is good, and he learned something today. Yeah, this is incredible how stupid I am. It's only been on every news feed for the forever. Um, and I'm like, man, these people are such jerks. What the heck? They're going after Zach. And I was really lit up. Our buddy Handel, he texted me. He said, is Jay running the feed? Because it's a little spicy right now. I said, I'm angry. He said, I'm a little... I, I, I want. I want. Me if it's spicy, me it's I, hilarious. Yes, it, I mean yes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to personally know you to, to understand. Yes, yes, that's how. It and works. so, so, so anyway, I, this morning I saw this negativity towards Zach, and I was like, "Come on!" I mean, Zach doesn't need my defending; doesn't ask for it. But I was like, you know, I know his mom has told me they see the stuff that's negative. Yeah. And all the trash that was being talked, I was like, you know, I'm gonna defend our guy because I love this guy. I think he's great. I don't understand how people hate him. I really don't. Um, and then, I, so I'm talking aloud to Jay about all this negativity on my feed. And I'm like, man, they, they, you know, then I have to start feeding. I'm like, dang it. I, I played right into the stupid algorithm. He's like, he's like it's almost like it's designed to make me angry. <laughs> it's like, it is designed yes, to make you is. angry. Yes, it is. That's exactly Gasp. what it's designed for. Is, it goes, is, is it Instagram man, designed? Is, is Instagram man. designed to make teenage girls feel terrible about themselves? He's, no. He's, they've been fooling me. I was like, I said, they've been fooling all of us. Right. Come on. What a dumbass I am. I'm so sorry <laughs> to everybody for being this stupid. Uh, I just thought, like, I just thought it was just an exception. just thought, man, people are really jerks people out there are, today and every day. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> they are, aren't they? You should reply, shouldn't you, Boiled yeah. Sports? Uh, yes. Exactly. Would you like to reply? Exactly. <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap. It's, it's a always trap. a trap. Uh, so this of, is the this is the what? season. This is the season preview or season review. Season preview. We're, we're How's it together. going? How's it we're going? Rolling yeah. together. So is Purdue the team that started twenty two and one, or the team that finished four and four? Yes. <gasps> Debate. Exactly. There's only one answer. Figure That's it correct. out now. It's very Break binary. the pool like, cue in half. Figure it out now. <laughs> <laughs> so here, let's here. I I've been wanting to do this. I was going to do this on a quick cast. I'm going to do it here instead. Okay. Oh, and here's nice. my big. The big thesis, okay? Purdue is exactly what their record says. They're a very good yeah. team. They're okay, the, Dennis the, Green. The, no, but listen, but listen. I think there's a, there's a, there's our findings, our, our database, our data, what do you call it? Set, set is is full. We understand it. At the beginning of the year, I still, you guys always know I'm skeptical, skeptical about Gonzaga. Skeptical. Always. Gonzaga is Gonzaga. They're still okay. They're, oh, they're good, good whatever. They're very good team. They're very overrated. They are not a top 10 team. Duke was never that good. Marquette wasn't good yet. They're like eighth now. I know. They figured it out. They kind of put it together. But the whole thing, those games were so important, right? Even West not Virginia. Who you play. West Virginia. Not who play. you play, Ryan. It's it's when you play them. Gene Kitty. Uh, but but this Purdue team, though, they got to they got some momentum and confidence and all that, and everything was going. And then you have exactly what we've all saw, we've all seen, we've all witnessed. The freshmen have gotten worn down. It's been tough on them. Big Ten teams have, are – this is – by the way, this isn't reserved just for freshmen. This is the thing that Fletch Lawyer has got to take a note of. If you look back a year ago, teams beat on Sasha Stefanovic too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fletch has got to figure this out, how to take it either – how to build himself up, get ready for it. You know, something's got to, something's got to change here in Purdue's offense. Um, I think he's going to be a crafty player, a gritty player, a coach on the floor. I don't think there's any <laughs> doubt about that. I, I just, I, some many would say he already is. Yeah, exactly. Uh, many would say, <laughs> yeah, many, many would have say said, many, many have would said. say, <laughs> I think, but I, I think, um, it's uh, it, you, you, so it, a lot, a large part of the mid season discussion was, do, should we adjust our pre really should we adjust our preseason expectations given the way that they've performed uh, you know they've way outperformed you know what we thought we thought that they would be probably in the team I think it, our preseason you can go back to the podcast they would get I think our all of our predictions was where they would get ranked they would probably be in the teens you know low teens to 20s all year Zach would have a good year better than most people would think but maybe not big 10 player of the year but probably in that contention and top three in the big 10 sweet 16 standard Matt Painter special right and then they went on that whatever they started 25 and 1 or whatever that not 25 and 1 they started 22, 22 and 1, and one. 22 yeah and one. 22 and 1 and 
you know, three quarters of the way through that, you know, 80%, 90% of the way through that, you're like, at what point do we adjust expectations? And it's probably worth adjusting it a little bit higher. But they weren't always going – like the fundamentals of the team weren't going to be a 22-1 and one team. Like it, it – like because we knew who they – we knew what they were. We knew who they were. We knew their age. We knew their development. All of this, it just couldn't sustain throughout the entire year. Now, does that mean that they're not – Outright Big Ten champions for or the better first than time we thought. since or still 2017, we thought. or significantly yeah. better than we thought, or still one of the best teams in the country with yeah. a real threat to make a deep March run. No, I mean, all of that is still within the realm of possibility, but are they by far the best team in the country and one of the kind of, you know, prohibitive national title favorites over the last couple of years like they look to be early in the season? No, I mean, like, no, they're not up with that Kentucky team, like that undefeated Kentucky team or that, you know what I mean? Like they're not um, kind of one of the modern greats, but they're still a dangerous team that won a very, won a, at the very least, a very self-destructive conference outright that can go, bad you know, conference. That can go deep. It's a bad year, but the conference, for all we internally like bash the conference, it's still what, third best? I mean, it's second or third best. It's, yeah. second, it's still probably. pretty good. Yeah. It's They're second. still going to get, what, nine teams in? Something insane yeah. like that? Maybe more? It they would be hilarious if this was the year right. when like eight out of the, the final 16 teams were in were right. in the Sweet 16. That's the thing. It's not, it's not a crazy... Would it really shock anybody if in this final 16 you had Michigan State or Illinois or Rutgers or no. somebody like that? Like You wouldn't I be mean, surprised at I, all. It, it sounds ridiculous. Nebraska is really hot right now like yeah, it's it's, it's well. nebraska is playing really well you know i stay with those scores i stay season. with those scores to get them in the tournament i, I mean these are it's talents all the path. it's all these the path ta- right oh and, uh, would it would it surprise <clears throat> anybody if jalen pickett all of a sudden no. like went on a kemba no, run and no. won the big 10 tournament no because oh awesome. gosh no i, I think, mean like, uh, i think for the big 10 tournament, that's a great point i think the big 10 tournament you're i'm curious i know Spoiler down, you don't care about it. However, it's still fun to like. It's never the team you think is going to win it, or it seems like it's never the Purdue when Purdue wins the conference, right? They never win the Big Ten right. tournament. But like to me, it feels like IU is a good bet for the Big oh, Ten yeah. tournament. I feel like Iowa, the best postseason basketball they play under Fran is in the Big Ten tournament. You know the problem with IU? They got to play <laughs> two Penn good State. games in a row. IU's got Iowa play. doesn't ever have. They always have a three stinker games, mixed actually. in. So I, they'll, they'll I be would really say good three out of four. I would say like, Maryland. If if the Maryland. if the tournament was played in DC, Maryland would be you know Maryland would be the yeah. prohibitive favorite. Big right? Ten right. country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we all know this. Yeah. Um, Do you think so? So I put a post out there. I think Purdue's path is very difficult. I think it's the hardest of the double buys. In the, in the, the you think so? Tournament. I do. Mm. No, I do. I, because no. I think if they get people are probably nervous about Rutgers. I think they'll smoke Rutgers. Yeah, I Rutgers, Michigan. I, you're playing the winner of Rutgers, Michigan, and then you're playing, you know, likely Michigan Iowa? Iowa, Michigan State, something like that, and. No, it, it, like young. compared to honestly, compared to Maryland, compared to a Penn State team that can catch fire, compared to Illinois, who is the kind of you know fits the mold of a as we've I seen like the fits path. the mold of a team. I, I don't mind it. But again, so so like all these teams, like you 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 put these statements out there, they're all accurate. Illinois is, I mean, I know that they're they're on the edge of being pretty good, but that's a pretty disappointing season with all that firepower. Oh, yeah. Gosh, they were project. How many projections were there that they, they would win, win the conference? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, they, they 20, were one of, twenty and ten or twenty one and ten. And so, so they're the same yeah. problem as IU for me in that I, I can't believe they're going to play consistently. Like because they've given us no reason. Or I yeah. Hood Shafino yeah. Hood Shafino makes me think that he's like so IU's good. got a IU's got a ceiling that like they they haven't quite. You know they haven't quite scratched yet, and right. like maybe they do in the Big Ten tournament. I, you know, IU and Purdue in the Big Ten title game would be nice. I know we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves on predictions, but IU, IU, Purdue three match in the, you know, uh, you know, in the Big Ten tournament would be nice. Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Yeah, for me, the 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 only thing that I care about in the tournament is Purdue getting another shot at teams that they that have beaten them. Rutgers. Yeah, I mean, Rutgers, I, I don't care. I don't care about anything else. I don't think. <laughs> You yeah. would take a tournament where they beat Rutgers and beat IU again. You'd enjoy oh, that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very yeah. much. That would be awesome. That's it's that's, it's the flip that's the price it's of the, admission. That's excellent. It's the flip side back in the day of not wanting to see Wisconsin for a third time after beating them twice, <laughs> right? Like you want you I know want those that two. exactly. Yeah. Like you want IU. You want. It's only got uh, one with Rutgers. Rutgers this year. 
but uh, come on, there's enough history there at this point. I'm like, just saying, I would like history. a second swing at them, yeah. not maybe not in the rack. But but, but here's <clears> the <throat> here's the thing. Like now, all of a sudden, so the Big Ten tournament. So, boiler down. The listen to the quick cast if you want all of these thoughts that we're going to summary uh, summarize here. Um, the Big Ten tournament rarely helps Purdue. Now, the reason it rarely helps Purdue is because Purdue's rarely on the bubble. Like, Purdue is usually yeah. a safe three to six seed. Like, that yeah. is where Purdue plays. And tournaments like, like postseason kind of conference tournaments rarely help those teams, like any of those teams. Big Ten tournament that are doesn't always, really help anybody, does No, it? so that's not true. Because no? I th- no, because if, there are, if you are on the bubble, a conference <clears throat> tournament can vault you in. Like, who, or, give me examples. Can you think of one? I mean, let's think of that Nebraska team a couple years ago that was inspiring in the Big Ten tournament. There was a Penn State team too that didn't get in. They that didn't get in. I don't think either of those teams got in. They had a good run. Like they a will, but they, but if they aren't really on the bubble, then if it puts them, it goes from you're not to on the bubble. It doesn't help. But if okay. you're on yeah. the bubble, it can put you in. And most of the middle okay. of the Big Ten, Penn State, Rutgers, Wisconsin, so, all of them are on the bubble. So you're talking this year about Michigan, Michigan, about Michigan. Nebraska, yes. Wisconsin. I mean, uh, Wisconsin actually Nebraska's might be – Wisconsin might be too far down to so – Nebraska. Uh, yeah, Nebraska, they would probably have to make Nebraska's a title 16 run. 16 and 15 overall. Nebraska would, and and I think if you're under 500 in the Big Ten, you've got a problem. If but you're Penn over State, 500, you're in. Penn State? Absolutely, if they made a yeah. run, they're they would be safely in. It would but they're really ten and ten help. in the Big Ten. They're nineteen and twelve overall. You win two games, you're twenty one and twelve. You should be in the tournament. All of a sudden, you're in, right? Yeah. And so yeah, right. that's those are the Rutgers. I think a Big Ten tournament run would help them. So they're going to be yep. hungry, right? Oh yeah. Purdue, you would hope, because all we need is oh, one or two more wins, and your your number one seed is sewn up, right? I think it's one more win. That. I think it's one more. I think Purdue just needed to win three games down the stretch, with the, with two games I, I left. Agree. I agree. I don't know how games. they can be punished. Like, well, you, you said you they should have fallen off the line. I mean, I don't understand how they you you made a great it. point in, in yesterday's, I guess, where you said yeah. they fell off the line this week, and this was the good week. Right. They won. They won a tough road game at Wisconsin, and they won at home against Illinois. This is how do when you knock them down. It's not necessarily knock them down. It's it, so five teams have put. Arguments up for only five teams in the country now will be, uh, you know, have shots. You know, the five, right? Exactly. And so, where they sit right now doesn't necessarily matter, but the gulf between Purdue and whoever is whoever is six, um, who is six? Is it Texas? No, it's Marquette. I mean, the gulf between Purdue and Marquette is it's really UCLA, is it right? So, you have five teams bowing, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter who is fifth. But like it's it's a top five. It's Houston. It's a the next Houston, four. Bama, and then, Kansas, and then it's it's it, it, it's Houston, and then it's four teams still vying for three number one spots. Basically, Houston is the only one who can kind of safely say that they're a number one. I think Kansas is, or I mean, uh, sorry, UCLA is probably the next safest. It would be really. Pretty, I think it would be tough for like the way that they are being perceived nationally that also if you're just looking at the losses well, but, like but but there's another thing in the one of the quick cake schedule boiler, but... boiler dad talked about was how either either your body of work and your quad one wins and the whole big matter. picture matters or that's the right. last week matters see so this is Wait, where i'm it on can't be both. 100%. yeah it 100%. can't be both you can't they, they all, can't... it feels to me like purdue always gets screwed on the wrong they're gonna, side they're gonna of take that a pick equation this year. If right. if Purdue if Purdue wins one more and so okay so let's let's lock two in uh, honestly I think Houston and UCLA like the furthest UCLA yeah, I would disagree. probably I think Bama and Houston I I think I think Bama one. currently is the last number one Bama is currently the number one that is like if they slip in there and it's not like they're they're. Their foundation is built on the strongest stuff right now. Um, that Brandon Miller, for everything else that you know, uh, you know that he's been involved in, is an excellent player. He yeah, is. Sure. He is. He's probably the runner-up for national player of the year right now. And so they're they're really good. He's got a shot. Right? He's got you. You know, you never know when he's going to pop off, right? So it's so you never so. Uh, but even then, even for him, like for them, I'd say that they stumble. I'd say use the furthest UCLA falls is the last number one. So essentially, 
you've got. See, I, you know, I don't see it. You though. think Purdue I, can jump them? I I think, you think Purdue, Purdue, if, oh, if they, they win the, the last, if they make the the Big Ten championship, yeah, I think so. See, I I, I see your your uh, your order is out of whack, especially if the quad one thing matters, which. Who the hell knows? Right? Who knows, but man? But Kansas's quad one wins are so far out in front. Like this I don't is, know how they're not the but, the two or it, three. But it's the quad two and three losses, right? Like Kansas has more of those. So it, this is the kind of year where it's like, do you do you do you go the high ceiling or the the worst that the team has looked right? And so, you know, you could talk about that with Purdue too, right? Like, is Purdue the team that IU blew out? Right? I who knows? I didn't blow them out. Eh, it wasn't great. Didn't feel good, Mackie. No. I had uh, people get very angry at me for using the word what I call devastates, the dominates, dismantles, dominates. Dismantles. dismantles. I think you said. A yeah, they did. No, no, they, they absolutely dismantled Purdue. I, yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know how you can say that. And they were pointing at the score. I'm it was like, really, it was really. Purdue wasn't coming back at the end of that game. I know, and so. and and I think actually, for all of the. Uh, you know, oldness that be, is now between the three of us. I now include myself on this. Old, the old, the that. old grumpiness that is with all three of us. Excellent. I still think we fall on the side of the optimistic on optimistic Purdue Twitter, right? Or optimistic Purdue I did internet, too. Yeah. right? Yeah. Like I'd say, we still fall in there. There is no way to spin that IU second IU loss at Mackey other than the disaster. most disappointing part yeah. of the season. Not necessarily a disaster, but like it was a dismantling. It's the most disappointing. I disappointed I've been in this Purdue team all year that I've loved. This has been one of my favorite Purdue seasons. This, even last year's regular season, this Zach Eady era has been incredible. Yeah. But last year, that IU game was like if you if Purdue falls to a two seed, great. You know why? You know how you could have gotten to a number one beat your rival that beat you on their home court, right? Right. And don't let them just destroy you at right. home. Like it wasn't a destruction. It wasn't a blowout, but it was a clear IU win. Right. I mean, like it it was. And if we end if Purdue ends up on a two the two line first, they're going to end up with the best two. And I actually don't mind their path if they do. We can talk about this. But it the the way to get there was really easy. Just beat IU, and Purdue couldn't do that. So I'm not going to. I fall think I don't. I, 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 I somebody asked this on Twitter. I think if you beat IU or Maryland or Northwestern, I think you're on the warm line. Still. Oh yeah. I, but I Maryland, I can losses those are, like those are road games. So it's losses like, like Maryland and Rutgers and Northwestern happen in the Big Ten. We've been watching this for long enough. Losses like the Purdue, like the the IU loss in Mackey, that doesn't happen, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so if you're going to point to anything that costs Purdue the one line, that's it. <laughs> and if that happens, that's okay. That That is what it is. Like, that's a, that's a part of the journey of the season. Like, you know, that is the low point in an otherwise kind of stellar, amazing, really memorable year. Where, okay, let me ask you guys a question. Okay, Purdue is, Purdue is 26 and 5 right now in the Big Ten. And I think we – just talking through what the Big Ten is, it's amazing – it's an amazingly competitive conference. Really, you have one team that doesn't compete. Everybody else is good. Everybody else is on the edge of the bubble or in the tournament, really. That's that's pretty wild for a conference of 14 teams. Now, let me ask you a question. If Purdue has the same pre-con pre and they are in the SEC, how many losses do they have right now? Mm, I – Probably in the probably, SEC, I don't know. There aren't that many great fewer. teams in the SEC. I think yeah, I think they're more. better in the SEC. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> oh, definitely. Now, if they're in the Big Twelve, I they I mean eight losses maybe. I agree. Seven or eight yeah. losses. Seven or eight probably. The Big, Big 12, Twelve is legitimately so, really good. So tough. <clears throat> like yeah. this is this is a so the funny thing is my my son LBD says to me what if wouldn't it be great if this is the year that well he. He said, if this is the year that the Big Ten breaks through and finally gets a national championship again, I said, well, let's if we're going to do it, let's do it with Augusta. Let's say it's I Purdue. Yeah, but, the, exactly. but, the, but the whole thing about the Big 12 is really in the position the Big Ten has been in so many years where you're like, okay, those are the best teams in America. This is the best conference in America. Yeah. You've got four Without or five of the best conference, right? Man, Big Ten, this is year, the, you're like, okay, you've got is, Purdue, and then you've got a bunch of teams that are just – What's yes. wild if we if we're going on the conference thing, we talk trash about the SEC. They're probably the third best conference. Is the yeah. ACC even fourth at this point? No, like the I mean, ACC I, it's like a, it's like a, so it's bad. like a tickle fight for fourth. It's, 
between the Pac-12 and the ACC. Shout out Do to you? the hometown Pitt Panthers. Yeah. Isn't it? Well, that, first of all, yeah. first of all, Capel yeah. should parlay that into a better job. Oh, he right should now. leave Anish tomorrow. I, the side, <laughs> I suggested leave. to Anish. I made Anish's day. I said Capel should take the Georgetown. Georgetown. It's the. It's hey. such a great. Oh, that's, decision. that's perfect. It's such perfect a great talent. call. The clock perfect. restarts. And, and they are be okay with cheating. They're, they're fine with sneaky They're desperate. Pit. It's it, Capel only takes over desperate. Um, you know, desperate what he's done at Pitt is incredible. But yeah, but I was going to say, you know what's interesting to me about the ACC? Think about this: uh, Hubie's North Carolina team was it's a it's a shit sandwich. They were bad, and they were bad, and in between they went to the championship game. They were not very good last year. They were an eight right. seed this year. They're not. Are they even going to make the tournament? I they really. And in they between, they ran the title game. Yeah. You're good. My mic work? Yeah, you're good. You're good. I'll I, check there. For some reason, it's, uh, it sounds a little teeny right now, but we can worry about that later. Um, yeah, I, I just want – I any offseason that doesn't include Shrewsbury ending up at Notre Dame is fine by me. These Fran rumors to Notre Dame are – Fran? Hilarious. Oh, Fran. please. That there is beautiful. there are huge no, rumors that Notre never, Dame wants Fran mind. McCaffrey, and honestly, I'd love it. Go, I'd love go, nothing go, more. Go. That's awesome. No, what, I don't know because then Iowa might hire someone competent. I don't care. But here's the thing: Dame. Iowa is a, is kind of the place where coaches go to die. If you really think about it, they've had so many hard chargers that were like that guy. He's but that's only great. that's only because it's these offered. two currently at the helm. I mean, like, yeah, but it's... no, but they had offered. He didn't really. Oh, they, they were. I'm better. telling they were you, better. they had the next big thing over and over and over. Yeah. Even Fran was somebody that like everybody loved. Fran. Sienna was that where Fran Sienna, was? Yeah, before? very good, yeah. good pull. Because Purdue pull. had to play a Fran coach Sienna I, team. I think J- Jawan John. One of, I think JJ's first everybody kind of big breakout Sienna. win. Right, everybody like, picked Sienna, and, and that was his first breakout. Smoking. Oh yeah, that was because yes, that, that was his fr- that was their freshman year, I think. And was it JJ that that was his kind of fr- after a rough freshman Maybe year, his first breakout win? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, I think you're right. That, I think that might be why Sienna is. Is this the right time for me to remind everyone that Fran McCaffrey has been a Division One head coach for 26 seasons? Please say that number again. Please say that number 26 again. 26 years. Okay. And he has never gone to the second weekend. So, you know, I'm sorry. You... The second weekend of what? <laughs> because, well, that's what he says. The <laughs> okay. There's a what? He only has to pack one suit, is the nice part about it. Because whatever city they go to, that's it, boys. Good job. Time to go home. He's never. He's won one game a handful of times and never won two games in the tournament. Tremendous. And Purdue fans can say, oh, there's never, we've never break through. And we're as guilty as anyone else. But, but for, how many Sweet 16s does Matt have? Five, six, Somewhere. something? You, oh. When you lose track, you know he oh, goes so. there a fair amount yeah. second yeah. weekend, right? And, 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 you know, you put it, you put this in your commentary saying a lot of programs, most of them, Many in the country would switch would places with, with yeah. Purdue's consistency level of yeah, winning, there, and winning and winning and there winning. There isn't there. You couldn't name. Here's here's how. I mean, I, and we say this as the most spoiled because we would love nothing more than just a Final Four run. We would trade right, right. getting swept by IU to make a Final Four run Absolutely. in an instant. Of course, yeah, well, we exactly. Because it that, doesn't so we'll matter. Listen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, like, like our dues. there there aren't fifteen and programs. 15, yeah. 15 programs that would switch the last switch. decade, the last right. 15 years, the 17 so keep, years of Maddie. So. Keep that in perspective, right? When you, when, and, and that's, that goes for us as well, for sure. But like, yeah. you could be Fran McCaffrey, you could be an Iowa fan. And Iowa yeah. has had some talent come through. And yet, we would, I mean, like, I, we would kill. Iowa for, had the player here, guys. I mean, then they Luca, Ga- title. We Luca Garza, title. both Murray twins. I mean, like, those were some. Th- Two Ballers, players man. of the year. Ballers. Ballers. The only and, and you talk about what a difference coaching makes. Why why do teams with that level of talent Gosh, literally never make a run? Literally never. Well, I mean, but hey, what's the, look, until what's the un, line? until Woody, until Woody, how many athletic skilled power oh. forwards went to waste over at IU? Right? Well, like I don't think you can chalk them up to not going to waste yet. He, I, I, at the very least, they look like a competent team. At the they end look like a competent team, right? and they look like a team that's built for March. I have to unfortunately say, like, and I that see. is that is that because of Trace, or is that because of Hood Shafino, who we are all is sick sick of? Please leave tomorrow. So Go to the so NBA good. tomorrow, please. Yeah, he's, he's incredibly. He's he's awesome. he's, he's he is uh, 
the kind of college player that usually only like you think of as like a Kentucky or a Duke or a, you know, that type of player. Like he is right. every bit of like when De'Aaron Fox was in, was at Kentucky, like just incredible so killer what instinct. Recruited him, Ooh. Right. Ooh. Yeah. I think so. Or yeah. his staff did. Cause he's a freshman. So yeah. I mean, it's like, a good get, man. it's That's a really, really good get. And <laughs> you know, and Trace is a good second best player to but have. I don't right? Think so I, you knew... looks dangerous. But nobody, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't follow recruiting, but I don't think anybody knew who Shafina was this good, this quick, he, right? He was a five star. And okay, so, he was, yeah, right. five star. Was a five American, star right? Yeah, exactly. A five star, six, six, you know, ball handling guard. It's like you're, you're betting on this, but IU, it's been so long since IU has had this much of an impact, like one and done. Again, you look at his games, though, and he's been. He hasn't put it together game by game. It's why he's, it's why it's Trace in the, you know, in the fake, you know, Big Ten Player of the Year race instead of, instead of, um, Chifino. But, um, by the way, like there are going, yeah, there are here, let's go to award season now, uh, Mm -hmm. as, as I, uh, you know, break out my Zach Eady jersey here. Um, the the first jersey, by the way, that I think I've bought in a decade. I saw the hockey jersey. I was like, I don't own a hockey nice. jersey and a Purdue ED jersey. Yeah, that's that's, that's it. Awesome. I need it. Um, the uh, ED is going to run away with Big Ten Player of the Year. He's going to win <laughs> National Player of the Year in a rebuilding year, in one of the most memorable years, and probably like now shortlisted like as one of my three favorite like Painter era Purdue players ever. Like he's, he's there. I don't care what happens in my, like he is, he's just the way he handles himself. Like it, the did way that he's his, done this season. Did you like, see his little speech to the college oh, game day? Incredible. That was this hilarious. Is, this is, a is that, is that partly because of the lack of attention they give? Do you think that's partly him being like, you guys, I sure awesome. hope so. You're he, something. He, this is his something. mom. His mom timed it and said it was fit or not. She, she countered. She said it was 15 words. Yeah. And he said, awesome. he said, yeah, guys, this is something. something. That was I so, love it. It's it so dry and perfectly just, like our humor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just like eat it, guys. Like, not that we. Yeah, that's the funny thing. You want to come? There's a part of you that wants to be like, you clowns wouldn't come to Mackey, right. but then you go, who cares? It's freaking ESPN. Exactly. Gibberish. They're irrelevant. It's the. Past. It's not. It's not the fall. It is football the game day. Like. The fall, and the even game they show in the fall is still fall. well, but it's well done. It's much. Can I can I talk to you guys something about yeah, bigger? Yeah, you know why? Because real... freaking Reese, Reese Davis is the only pro that that organization yeah, no doubt. like employs, no doubt. right? Reese like, is great. Anyway, the world is changing so quickly, guys. Like, so uh, we can speak of ESPN like it's um, its best days are behind it. I I really believe that. Right. Oh. As far we're as... in such a weird time right now. It's not just in college sports that we are transitioning into this. I think we're dealing with a, I don't know if it's the biggest revolution of our lifetime, but with artificial intelligence and things that are on the brink of changing everything, right? You've got mega conferences are at our door. Like the world, the sports world, the media world, everything is about to be so different. Soon in about chat GPT two years. will be doing this podcast. It'll be great. And yeah. How do you know they're not doing it already, Michael? You know? That's Michael's contribution. How do you know what yes. deep fake? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Michael was always a deep fake. That's why he was Michael so grainy. Yeah. 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 exactly. That's why he's so <laughs> grainy. He's a composite of the three of our voice. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Can you can you put a comment up here? Uh, Todd uh, Todd is sixteen. Todd Todd is sixteen. Congrats, Todd. Painter, Painter gave. <laughs> it's right. Painter gave JHS a breakout game to get him out of the league. This is, I love this is, I love this. This is a great theory. This, this, and it's, it, it highlights how smart Painter is, how willing he is to, you know, play the long game. We've got the, we've got the conference wrapped up. We can burn one. Uh, It's, it's just, uh, you know, it, it, um, it's been a great year it, in a year that was supposed to be a rebuilding year. It's, it's well, produced what second national, it's second national player of the year in 30 years. Yeah. It's like it. It's been thirty years since the big dog. I'd like to point out that you're, I believe, at the beginning of the season, you said top three in the Big Ten, and a Sweet Sixteen run. So look at you. You're right there. You're That's trending it. exactly That's where. It. Yay! Expectations but, and, met. And so and so, what are the raised expectations? At the fair raised Final expectations. Final four. It, a, a fair raised expectation for this season is an elite eight. Right. Like you make an elite eight, you feel okay. 
you still oh, feel, you feel like much uh, okay. You, you feel, feel great. Good. I think you feel, you feel good. Is it elite eight? You feel okay? But you may, but but what Are I'm saying kidding? is that but what I'm saying is that's the line, right? Like what if you make a sweet Goodness. sixteen if you make a sweet sixteen you and never you know lose, what you're gonna get, right? Exactly. You make a sweet you sixteen and you lose guy. and you feel gross. Like it feels no, bad. No, no, I don't think you'd feel gross. I think you. I think okay. Here's what yeah, I. Yeah, sweet you're sixteen, right. gross you feel is too fine. Much. Maybe I'm like saying the same bad, thing. Right? I'm saying a sweet sixteen, you'll go. Yep, that's yeah. what we do. <laughs> that, that you that, whatever, and like, you'd you feel like a brat. It. You'd feel like a brat exactly. for being exactly. angry. Exactly. But you'd be let down a little. Now it would de- like everything else. It would depend on depends on who else. You losing the sweet sixteen to the national champs by six points. You're gonna go. All right, that wasn't embarrassing. Fine, whatever. If you lose to St. Peter's, Peter's. <laughs> that, that can, North that, you're Tech, allowed to get North angry. Texas. I'm still yeah. angry. You guys talk about my soul leaving my body in 2019. No. It did, but last year was the angriest I've, I've been at a Purdue finish because it will Fair. never, I've said these Fair. words before on these air, it will never line up that way again. That yeah. perfectly and with a lottery pick on your team. Like, it'll never line up like that again. I'm not saying that means they could never do it. I'm simply saying it'll never line up like that again, and you still tripped over it. So it all depends on when you lose, how you lose in the Sweet 16. Yeah. So I'm right. just going back to what you said. So that's my Sweet 16. That's thing. right. If they lose in the Elite Eight, same thing applies. You feel if good, you lose though. in the Elite Eight like they lost to Virginia, you're torn up inside, but you lost to the national champs. So all right. I mean, it's not embarrassing in any way. Um, but when you talk about raising expectations, okay, and we've talked about this, I don't think too much publicly, but – when you're, it, I'm making this up because I, you know, we don't have any ability to do any research at Boyle Sports, but I'm guessing Purdue was number one for more weeks than any other team this year. Do you think that's the right? Th- I think that's right. That can be looked up very quickly if you keep talking. <laughs> oh, there's actually a way to do that. I didn't know that. No, technology is amazing. You're right. Right. <laughs> it's, um, the funny thing is, if you know how to search Google like my son does, I'm so slow. I can't get there. And he gets there in like four seconds. You just well, you can't spell Google. That's the yeah, that's the problem. I'm Handle just spending says, all this time just. Handle says they're tied with Houston. Yeah, I think Handle's I, I was just we yeah, know that. Houston. And, okay, and Purdue fine, are... fine, tied. They're the they've had they no one has been number as one. many. Okay, zip it, Handle. Seven weeks each. Okay, enough, enough with the information. These are gosh darn it, Handle. Ooh, so, I know everything. I'm oh, smarter than you guys. I yeah, we already knew that. Too. So. Goodness. If you no one in the country has been number one more than you have, I think your expect you then are by definition one of the absolute best teams in the nation. Yes. So I don't think it's unreasonable to say the bar gets raised as far as what you should, what your fans are allowed uh, to expect. You're correct. Yep. That's yeah. I doesn't mean, that's doesn't change it, how you'll react if they lose in Sweet 16. It'll still be what I just said a minute ago. Yeah, sure. that's and you'll feel, it, I think it, the best way – I think it, you you said it there really well. It, you'll feel like a brat, but you can't – your feelings are going to be real. Like it's going to be real and it's going to be – so all of a sudden that becomes a line. The Sweet 16 and a half becomes the line for like feeling okay, like feeling like this, this yeah. you know, worked. You know what I mean? Like it's it, – Break even. Eight or the six, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so, so you're you're, you're Stevenson, hoping, man. Stephenson, and Stevenson says you three look better. You three look better. Oh, okay. thanks, man. Thanks, is that man. is that a put down show, to just one of us? Face. It must be. I'm not sure. I'm not. Sure. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But I, I don't we look Sean like does, Sean I'm five foot four, so I have that chip. It's I, with the, in a recent quick cast, boy, Dad, you were like, "I'm here. This is my face." And this I is it. Left. This, this is all. This is all you get. This is all you left. You can't gussy this up any better. Uh, so it'll okay, be so guys, so let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold your feet to the fire, you two. Okay, love it. Are we gonna after Selection Sunday? Are we gonna have another handsome hour? Yeah, in course. in that two three days it, with the with our bathrobes on. Yes, that's right. Wait a minute. Wait All a right. Minute. Did you say after Selection or we usually do one Selection Sunday night? Don't yeah, we? whenever after the the selection is happening. Yeah. I'm, you I'm you tell us. Time. You you propose yes. when you would like to do it. Yes, I will do it anytime. I will I do it anytime. You will. That's the first. <laughs> you mix. I can go. Wait, I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, so, so here, so let's do this. Carl, Carl checks in. Purdue fan since 1965. Let's go, Carl. Carl, thanks for thanks for being on board, man. I will get a bit excited only if they make it to the Final Four. Too Ooh. many disappointing seasons of the past fifty. Be excited, Carl. 
Yeah. Elite Carl, Eight is still pretty good. Carl, you'll get excited because you'll national play national player of the year. Big Ten outright Big Not Ten excited? championship. The fourth, by the way, this Not is Painter's really fourth excited? Big Ten championship. The greatest college basketball coach of Purdue history won six. Mm-hmm. Painter's already at four, by 52. the way, with this year. He's, he's 52, 52 years old. This that would be if he if Purdue makes the Elite Eight, it would be his second Elite Eight. At, on top of the handful of Sweet Sixteen banners that we've hung up in Mackey Arena. Second play, second national player of the year. <laughs> exactly the Sweet ring. Sixteen rings. We need to make a shirt with a Sweet Sixteen championship ring. And Michael like Jordan, rings, like Michael around Jordan, the sixteen, <laughs> like a sixteen, and then there's rings all around it. The Bill Russell picture with all of yes, his rings, but on they're it. all Sweet Sixteen. Rings. <laughs> they're all exactly. six. They just have the number sixteen on all of them. That's what you get. <laughs> sixteen cubic zirconia. Listen, I always yeah. say this, guys: it, is the glass half full See, or half laugh. empty? We laugh. Or we if cry. you make the Sweet Sixteen, that doesn't mean you're the 16th best you're the 12th to 16th well, sure best. <laughs> sure you could be well, no you could be ninth best you could you be, could theoretically you could be ninth. exactly just depends on how the schedule is time the last right. team knocked out in this we're yeah, we're count, yeah. we can't we the hang this up team. just like scott frost when he <laughs> we're printed, a final ninth <laughs> elite nine the nifty nine <laughs> the nifty nine, <laughs> the nifty nine. I think Purdue's been top nine for many, many of the Sweet Sixteens. Nifty nine, Nifty nine champions. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let's go. It's... So I'm gonna I'm gonna respond again to Carl's comment. God bless. Anisha's you, doing a great job saying. I think what you're saying in so many words is uh, make Pretty sure good. you manage your expectations. Is that Don't what you're saying? It. Is that it's not manage expectations. It's that it's good. These are the good days. This is yours. This is yes. you. You keep reminding me this. These are, These are the good, the good days. old days. These yeah. are the good old days. We yeah. are going to be. Oh, remember is, the, the problem is guys like Carl. So he says he's been a Purdue fan for sixty five years. He's he's in my dad. He's a contemporary of my dad. Okay, so that means he's seen two Final Fours. Right? Which and and, like, and this comment here is very fair. I just want one before I die, which is fair. We is, do too. Hundred percent, we do too. We are, we're in. <laughs> we're in. Yeah. And the funny thing is, Carl. Like, I mean, uh, I, I've said it. As soon as I die, they're getting to the final four. I tell these guys <laughs> behind closed doors all the time. Uh, as soon as I, it, I don't even have to be dead. I just have to be uh, not with it, right? So I'm like on my deathbed. That's when Purdue will get to the final <laughs> four. Home. I blame me because yeah. I said I don't remember Thank 1980. You. We'll but we'll take you in a uh, in a hospital bed in a suite like what's That's his right. name at Liberty at like He's Hugh lovely. Freeze like Hugh Freeze at Liberty cheering it. <laughs> Someone will be like the weekend um... at Bernie's. There'll be a, a, a rope over my <laughs> hand. Right. You'll be like what's her name from um, uh, oh, Loyola Chicago? I know where I know where you go in there. Uh, she uh, hey she is Come more on. she is more with it look, than any no, of us. No, but that's what that's what he'll look like when Purdue makes a final four. That's what I would. That's say. what he'll look like next year after <laughs> these next handful of she tournament a, runs. She's a full of energy woman. I mean, uh, she she's impressive. I, I think um, she was 115 when they made their. their... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was quite. I think she's like 104 now. Oh, but, oh. Um, uh, yeah, I, I so. So how do you feel about there? So there's a the, the the way that Purdue currently looks is they've they've went four and four in their last eight, right? Yeah, is that correct? Right. But they've got three and four in the last four, and are looking okay. The three wings are looking good. Three, like yeah, you three, said three and four in their last four. I don't know what. No, means. two of three, right? Two, They've won two of the. Is that right? Two. With, yeah. I mean, they've won two of the last three. Two yeah. Last three. Here. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like you're 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 looking. Purdue's looking okay. Brandon oh, Newman boy. is looking like he's playing the best basketball of his Purdue career. Like you, Zach's. We were waiting worst for a game. dynamic guard. We got it. Is what you're so saying. Zach's I, worst game of the season is like seventeen and eight. Well, and and one thing I'll say about if you want to so feel bad. better about the Illinois game. I know a lot of people, including our quick caster here, was disappointed in the second half. However, if you want to take a silver lining away from that game, that first half was the best we have seen Purdue look without Zach. No question. And better than I ever thought they would look nine minutes without him on the floor. Nine like, minutes in the first half. They so listen, so here. I, great. For so me, don't you think I, that's I've told that you guys on that quick cast, that's the team next year. I remember yeah. what I said, it'll look different. Yes. Because the offense will not run through the middle. 
It can. Yes, correct. Right? So you'll have these, gar- these well, you'll power have forwards, these dual power forwards. Red, but mm-hmm. but yep. it, first it won't run the red. same way it does now. Start no, it won't. Way, it no. won't. No, no, it's no, like Trey Williams. It was a different offense when Williams was in yeah. there versus Edie. But yeah. they hadn't had the chance to really workshop it this year. And why would you have? Because you have Zach Eady in the middle, right? He missed right. the one game early, right, when he had the flu or something. And they won that game, and we were all like, ooh, that didn't look like the same team. But they had played someone poor. I don't remember who it was. It was that end of the December game. It was like it was someone not very good. Mm-hmm. Um, that was the first time that he was gone for an extended amount of time, and they looked they looked incredibly smooth, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, shouldn't that be a positive that you take away from this? And oh, it's a big positive. If Newman Please. is going to play this way, Newman, New- it matters I, all a lot of us, less if lawyers hit a wall. There right? are few like group. There is a. There are no group of uh, Brendan Newman fans like more than Boiled Sports. Boiled oh, Sports. Man. Nobody wants uh, Brendan Newman to oh. have record a twenty five point seven steal performance in the t- in oh, the tourney more than us. like oh, yeah. we are so happy that he decided to come back. I love back. that dude. I love he, the team Brandon loves him. Newman. I mean, uh, when Ethan, the way Ethan Morton, yeah, Morton spoke about him, like they came oh, in at the beautiful. same time, and Ethan took his minutes, like the minutes right. that were supposed to be that, uh, that were supposed to be Newman's. Incredible. Ethan kind of took early in the season, yeah. and he was like the reason I'm pl- freshman starting. And so it's like, man, it, man, it's it. Those two wings getting it together and becoming lockdown defenders and hitting the occasional three, you know, hitting even thirty, like thirty three percent, like breaking even thirty three percent from three. Oh, can I can oh, I do something great. real quickly that I, I just want to remind Purdue fans? I don't know if we this registers with us. And tell me if I'm wrong about any of this data because I don't think I am. Brandon Newman lost his dad mm-hmm. during COVID. Yep. Ugh. This story isn't talked about at no, all. No, it isn't. No, right. It is not talked about at all. That that sucks so bad. And the guy, you never saw any change in him. He's been so steady. It's part of the reason I love this guy so much. He didn't. I mean, it's 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 a, it's a, unreal. And you it's hope un, it's that unreal. He... It, Purdue has stood by him, and he stood by Purdue. And if you want a reason to root for Purdue, as if you didn't have it already, this team gives you so many things to love. Mm-hmm. I mean, our buddy Carl says, Final Four or bust. I understand it. We have had so many teams at Purdue that we like, but we don't love. I love this team. I love mm-hmm. these guys. I mean, like, it, it, name me the, the guy on the team that's tough to root for. Right. Go 10, 11 deep. Find them. I can't find them. Right. There right. has always been there was always been one or two. There has always been. Even if with Where my gold like, colored oh, glasses. Yeah. yeah. All right. I wouldn't yeah, we'll like them if it wasn't on Purdue. We'll, we'll deal with it. Yep. We don't have that right now. Okay. And Purdue has there's some people in the in the in the margin have said Purdue has the ability to get flammable. There are guys that can go off oh, on yeah. this team. There's no doubt about that, right? Yep. But none of us, the three of us, I'm only gonna speak for the three of us, feel and Michael, warm and he's fuzzy. Hot. And Michael in spirit are warm and fuzzy about this team right now on the court. Now we can root for them full throated. We're full behind them. We love these guys, but we saw the end of the season. I I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how else to say this. This is the thing. I know Jay, you've just figured out the the wonders of Twitter along with me. (laughs) No, you haven't. You've known for a long time. It's black or white on Twitter, right? It's bad or good. The, the, problem that we have is there are shades of gray with this Purdue team and that you can say, yes, I was disappointed with the way the season ended. Yes. I absolutely love this team. Yes. I think Matt Painter got out coach versus Brad Underwood somehow. And yes, I think this team has the ability to make a run. If things fall perfectly in place, it's gotta be absolutely perfect. This is way more perfect than Carson Edwards, by the way, guys, because Carson Edwards was always ready to go off. Always, well, they, right? did, they didn't have a perfect path that year. They had to no, beat they, a bunch of no, really. They had. Oh, they, we they, were, they the had the worst path. Villanova. Let's let's remember Villanova, Nova, Tennessee, Virginia. Tennessee, Virginia. Oh. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I think there was a, the first round matchup first was, game was one someone that, good too. Yeah, exactly. they were like a four, the, weren't they? They played no, a good it, thirteen. Yeah, they played. A, they played one of the thirteens that people picked in a trade yeah. upset. And that was a, just dominated yeah. them. Yeah, um, and last year, how did last year go? They think they had a pretty good path last year. So last year's path was the path. It was yeah, this year. You, you look at the bracketology stuff, and 
So you know, I, I, you know, we we have a week, so we can <laughs> still get predict the it. Right. Purdue will, will either. Order. I think Purdue is locked into one of two spots. They will either be the number one going through Louisville, <laughs> or they will be where nothing bad has ever happened. Hi, oh. boiler. Hi, boiler down. You can't. Oh no, you can't hear us. Um, so they'll either be the number one team uh, going into oh. uh, Lou, going uh, through Louisville. Or they'll be number two. They'll be the top number two seed going through Jay Money's backyard in oh. Madison Square Garden, going through Columbus in the first weekend. So either way, it's a good. Either way, there will be lots of Purdue fans in the crowd because all of the teams are either south or west, right? So they'll either get the Louisville spot or the number two in Madison Square Garden. Oh. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Yeah, man. Do you care who we play at that point? I'd like no I, again. No, but, like, but just, you there. just go. Uh, yeah. There's there's an element this year, right? Of of it's just money. Be- By the way, if they they end up, I kind of want them to get the number two seed there because then I get to you know my trip to Columbus becomes a lot easier. You know, yeah. Columbus and New York becomes a lot easier for this Pittsburgher. I was gonna say though this this team like there's an element of that as you just laid it out of while you don't want them to only get a sweet 16 there's an element of like okay there's like a there's like a post you're passing right if you get this okay they didn't have that (sighs) crap out in the first you're exhaling yeah now you're like okay that means they've they've won at least two in a row maybe they've won more than that if they had a good big 10 run right now you're starting to feel like okay they haven't had a loss in a while where they really right and now you're starting to it's exactly what they'll do to you they'll make you believe Oh, that's exactly yeah. And then just you know, just, just throw, right there, just drag me to the garden. So last year, the thing that sucked the most about last year was that no Big Ten Player of the Year, no Big Ten title, no Big Ten tournament title, yep. and no no Elite, no Elite Eight, Eight Sweet Sixteen run. Yeah, Elite right. Eight run. Right. Like there's no hardware. The there's nothing. No Wikipedia point with that. Exactly. Game. There's no hyperlinked button. Right. The 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 hyperlink is Jaden Ivey was awesome a couple times, but Jaden that's Ivey, not really. We got the fans. cheese it. We got the cheese yeah. it trophy. Oh, I mean, yeah. the, but that right. see, but those small things do matter. Like sure. having an, a really electric player. Probably all of a sudden we we were talking. You were talking about this recently on the quick cast. One of a, a Purdue commit that is maybe the greatest professional basketball player in India. That's related to the greatest professional basketball player in the state of Indiana. Um, committed to Purdue, leapt from a medium three star to a yeah, five star recruit. Again, we don't talk about recruits too yeah. much, so I'm not even going to talk about you know Timmy yeah. Catching's nephew. But like you know, they have that... three recruits lined up, and I hate doing this. I know this is it's the just stuff like that, oh no, gosh, oh like no. my mind's blown by the next. But here, year. but but Jaden <laughs> doing that, Jaden setting that that helped with that right it was like that yes. br- he brings oh, yeah. the next one oh, you course. know what i mean so there are all oh, these like, like ephemeral things but like there wasn't a linked wikipedia like uh point to take away from last year we already have two from this year to remember you already have an yep. outright big 10 title and zach and the first national player of the year that purdue has had since maybe the greatest basketball player in purdue basketball history by the way Sorry, Calcigo's comment that just came up. Does anyone anticipate we have similar success in the non-con and we get to the NCAA tournament and away from the Big Ten crews that allow ED to be beaten to death every game? <clears throat> I do I think there's an so. element of your, a your, more your even, fingertips to God's ears. I guess. Well, I think there's more of a right. chance of an of a more reasonably called game in the tournament than you've seen <clears throat> in the meat of the Big Ten schedule. I do think oh. that's we were. We were if we look, then. if we look at the season about when. Purdue's if the way Purdue was officiated changed. It's when Tom Izzo started complaining. But but not and, but and that's not guy. but that's not but that's not true though. It twenty it is true. And, it is true. I'm telling you why it's true. Here's why I'll tell it's true. It's true because every game before that, Purdue would have like one foul or zero fouls, and the other team would have six or seven. It happened but, over and over. But Purdue was twenty two and one, and we were still saying, "Wow, this is the worst ref Big Ten oh, year it's poorly oh, yeah. that we have seen." Right? I mean, so it was bad, right? It was. It has been bad all year. It was bad when Purdue looked like the clear number one team in the Tom country. Izzo, though, I'm telling you, that guy carries a big stick, and it's not just on the sideline of the court. It's in the conference. It changed the way. There was the whole thing was that I was reading in the in the Athletic about how these coaches 
influence the assignments that the officials get because they're friendly with the guys who yeah, do the assign. That. Like it's it's so preposterously it's gross. corrupt. It's gross. But to Kyle or what was it Kyle's point up there? Um, yes. Leah, you're you're hoping that you know that that finds its level when it comes to you know the yes. when you All when I you leave the Big Ten. Not- get to- Awful. Like just, just just call the game. So I'm not looking in twenty. The last time that a Purdue dream, team, Jay. I think, <laughs> just call it like an game. even like basketball game. Yeah. The yeah. last yeah. time Purdue was shaped up like this was when the it was the Isaac Haas year. What was that? 2018, 18, 2017, 18, something 18. like that. Yeah, and it happened until Isaac Haas bro- broke his elbow in the tournament, and then yep. Purdue, you know, lost against uh, what Texas Tech or whatever. Like um, sure. it, and so it's. You, 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 all you hope is that it just doesn't lead to an injury from Zach Eady or like, or hell or the other way around. It doesn't matter. Just get control of the game. Right. It's, and also it's not like Zach, like they, Illinois fans have found this one clip of Zach yeah. biting on a pump fake and tr- and ma- up making, in the air yeah, and, and making sure, oh, yeah, exactly. He was coming down. What do you want? And like, they were like, yeah, that should be sent to the league trying to hurt someone. So it's like, but what do you want him he to He had no do? place to land, by the way. Yeah. This is, yeah. You look at that. His feet were going to come down on, on his legs, and he's going to flip. He's going to be upended there. He's right. going to land on mullet's he- neck and head. Mullet. Okay? So what does he want? Do you want to clear out the space and land on your tailbone, or do you want 310 pounds of dude Coming down here from from that high up, I mean, I mean it looks it's... awful. I understand that the foul was called. It's a good hard foul. Goodness gracious! I, I I've discussed this point today way too much, way yeah. too much. And I know all you fair minded Purdue fans out there want to show me how open minded you are that you thought maybe this is a bad thing. Okay, great. We can't live our lives that way. It's in the past. Number one, the guy had to do something to make sure he protected his feet and knees. Those guys, that is drilled into the big guys' heads. Protect your feet and knees. He had the, no place to land. The yeah, yeah, ne- I mean, crazy. the next point is kind of Q Turner brings up here is the one problem I see Purdue having in the tournament is a yeah. uh, team that decides to full court press. Smith can't handle. So, the, I don't the the press the press or the immediate double right is 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 fairly similar right. So you're just you're pressuring the ball whether it's like. It, it, so it's different either in the backcourt, they'll do that full court trap or they'll try to anticipate the entry pass into Zach and yes, that's and really, where they'll immediately yeah. gang up, right? But I, I think and Purdue's so, handled that press better. And I'm a critic, critic of Purdue over the years being able to handle the press. I actually think this year they haven't alarmed me as much as they have in the past. And here's the other thing that I think age and, and watching lots of basketball kind of brings you to remember – you can't do that to a team the whole game. You will eventually be out of energy. That's the whole thing. Get beat. I, I keep saying, if you oh. start the press early, you wear your team out. Absolutely. And you see the teams that did it successfully against Purdue did a nice job of early, but then backed off. And right. then, like, they didn't do it for 40 minutes. You can't. You can't do it for 40 minutes. Purdue will and, kill you if you do and, that. Pa- and Painter There's also. There's no Arkansas made... out there, right? There's no whatever. Right. 40 or, minutes or, of hell. Or, yeah. Or pa- the, uh, Painter is also, I mean, Marquette team. kind right. of, but right. um, by by the way, Marquette, uh, Shaka instantly, Shaka is really good at VCU, goes to Texas, fails, instantly leaves Texas and has a team back in the top 10. Maybe Texas is poison, by the way. No, anyway, no, is, I can't think of Texas one bad thing poison. that's happened to Texas this season. There's nothing wrong there. Everything's Maybe, fine in Texas. Uh, I mean, you know, Chris, they're, they're uh, I mean, you know. Uh, they might choke. See, that happens in March. <laughs> Have I said strangle the life out of the tournament? Oh, yes. Uh, there strangle we go. Hold on the Big 12. Hey, there oh! we go. Yeah. No, but it's like, you know, these are the kind of things that it's, you know, you you think about getting worried about. Painter has also brought the press point up earlier, um, like throughout the year. And it's like, I, if a team is good at pressing, sure, they can they can rattle us just yeah. like they can rattle any other team doing it, right? It. But if a team is bad at it, we're going to kill them. Yep. Right? And like, he because he knows like Braden and Ethan, Braden, Ethan, and Lawyer know when and where to attack kind of specific gaps, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you've got Andre the Giant at the rim, if, like waiting for With a lob, or guy, maybe, or, or actually kind of low key. The, the lob threat on this team is Caleb first, oh, like that back door has been open the, all, all the year, baseline man. lob. Awesome. 
Oh, it's so nice. I would I would yeah. love Caleb first to to rejoin Purdue basketball. Yeah, he's man, been very he's quiet. Struggles. He's been quiet. He's hey, he's somebody a- reminded me, this is an interesting thing if you think about it. So last year he got COVID about two through way through the season. This year he got something like it was like a flu mm-hmm. and it knocked him down both times. Yeah. Like that's 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 tough. I mean, maybe just yeah. the you know yeah. attack on the lungs is tough on him, but man, yeah. it sucks. Because every year in Indiana, you're gonna get the flu. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all of I us mean, went to Purdue, and we were probably all sick in February. At some the point. you so the wings are back. You know, you you really like not back. Like they've they've emerged for the first time. Yeah. You know, Newman and Morton have been playing both really well. Um, Newman, you just hope. Don't worry about the shot. I I don't honestly don't care about Brandon Newman's shot. If he defends like this, so it's pretty. like that's that's gold, right? Um, but produce power forwards. Just one of them has to come back. I you know we love again like. The I think fan favorites N- Newman and Gillis on this podcast are like we we love those two. They're special, yeah. Gillis has not had a great month, you know, not oh. had a great month and a half, right? Some like, would say he's due. Some would say he's due. Right. First, hasn't had like you. One of the power forwards needs to emerge, and you're kind of hoping one of the Big Ten tournament like games. You know, is it serves as kind of a get right game for one of them, yeah. but we'll see. we'll see. It's interesting. I've seen Purdue portrayed as everything from um, skilled but young plus Edie to Edie and a bunch of nobodies in different parts of the media. Like, there was an article, it was put out there. Somebody talked about it on Twitter. I jumped on the thread. It was harsh to this team, like, absolutely brutal. It wasn't just like, okay, they've lost, what, they've gone four and four in the last eight games. It was, this team is shaky. They can't do anything right. Like, just over and over, just beating them up. And I was like, this guy sounds like he's, he's got, he's trying to get somebody else into that one line. Like, he's got a big megaphone. It was one of those big, um, National outlets, and I was like, "Dang, nab it!" On, this on the is other, the stuff that puts my chip on the chip on my Purdue shoulder every but year. But on the other side of it, so Matt Norlander at CBS Sports, yeah, is he's probably the biggest Purdue fan yes, that is, is out there. Yes, he's he been is. to Purdue a couple times. He I loves know, Mackie. I know him. that he's got Painter on text at every time he does one of those anonymous coaches things. Like Painter is every time quoting <laughs> right? one of those, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Um, just because Painter wants to talk about anything except basketball. So yeah. he, you, like, you know, he's there. Um, he picked Purdue to win the big 10. He picked Purdue as the best team out of Indiana this year, which mm-hmm. not many people were doing. Right. He picked Purdue to win the big 10 tournament just now. He did that early, like way yeah. back. Yeah. But he Ooh. did that in the off season in the off season. There was that, you know, it's like the map of the U S what was like that? The, Jay, the you can remind thing. me. What did they say? IU was like, it was like a. Kind of a coronation the in the waiting. What they were going to. They were going to be. They went from the hunters to the hunted. The hunted. Mm, that's right. So they were going to be the dead. Lead. They were the. Now they're limping. <laughs> is that is that the no? Purdue's they got limping. hunted. No, Purdue's and they got yeah. wounded. Purdue, Purdue won the championship, but they're limping, and that's yeah. fair. They are. I mean, for them. it's a tough but fair. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, they are, <laughs> no, but but, yeah, no, but they yeah, still yeah. won the conference by what three games? Yeah, I mean, like, like I mean, it, it's I, first outright turn. Uh, first outright Big Ten since twenty seven. Nine years since a team has won by three games. It was wow. 2013, 2014 really? Michigan. Oh, oh, wow. oh, I have a trivia I didn't want to forget to ask you guys. First one time in my... this era with the schedule the design yeah. that is right one now. Of my, um, one of my – 2013, trade... was that Trey Burke? Yeah. Was that uh, – okay. One of, my, one of my spontaneous trivias I want to ask you to, without cheating, without looking. Okay. Nope. Who in the Big Ten – what Big Ten team has the best home record? All time? No, 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 no. This year. <laughs> Just I would say Maryland. I was gonna say I'd probably say Maryland. You guys That's are amazing. Guess. Yeah, sixteen and one. No. They're so good at home, That's... though. Like I watch them play like back to back games. I mean, like they don't look like the bright. same team. Uh, Indiana was fifteen and two. Purdue was fourteen good. and two. Uh, Illinois was fifteen and two. Rutgers was fourteen and five. Penn State was thirteen and three. Dude, uh, Nebraska eleven and four. Like, Penn State thirteen and three and still on the bubble, man. Come on, like, that's come because on, they are six the road games six yeah, away from home. Uh, it's they're so like they sorry again, they're they four are, and seven on the road. 
They're one of the teams that like needs a win or two in the Big Ten tournament yeah. to get on the right side of the bubble, right? Um, and I can't I like believe that there. we're going to be. I can't believe that Purdue folks are going to be rooting for Penn State. But man, I want to see I'm like Micah, Micah, Micah and Jalen Pickett are freaking awesome. And I want them like, nowhere near Purdue in the no, bracket. Right. I no, just want to enjoy them. <laughs> yeah, they're the. You always want a team or two to can enjoy when like the days Purdue's not on. You're like, yeah, Ooh, exactly. Yes. Don't care if they lose, but it'd be fun if they win. It'll be fun so to watch. That's exactly. what you need. Right. You want to see them ruin someone's tournament. That's what I want to say. I want to see yeah, Pickett just great. fill it up. Because you know whoever draws Penn State is going to be like, Penn State basketball. All right. There's our win. Because they're going to be like the 7-10 game. Right. right. And they're going to be playing like a, you know, like a VCU or somebody like that who's going to be like, ooh, win a ball. So what's your so let me ask you guys this is kind of a, a gut feeling and I'm sure the people in the margin can can relate with this what's your favorite feeling time Oreo of the, oh. the no 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 of the big t- of the, of the he didn't say tournament. filling he didn't say Pardon filling me. not he filling, filling. Oof, the feeling God. like the gut feeling for me after Purdue wins okay let's say they have and there's still games win. left in the night and everything yes yes so they let's say they win Thursday at one or two oh oh. That's- Oh, that won't ever. Let's they'll, enjoy. They'll, no, it's going to be a Friday. A it's going to be Friday at 10 p.m. Will be the exactly. first game. That's what, no, I was just going to say. They've had games like that. Just, I'm where, in knots all that leading up to it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you're seeing, bad. Because you're seeing like Iowa advance. You're like, oh, they're. they're so they're not, they're not going to do Purdue in the afternoon because they're going to put Zach on primetime. Like they're going to put the national exactly. player of the year, like you know. And we have to hope for Thursday, right? Because we want it out of the way. But I actually, if they end up as the number one, I don't know. I think they will automatically be the night game, right? Or if they end up as number one in Madison Square Garden, I think it's well, East. Do, they don't. They don't play it, in the Garden until the regional. No, no, no. Yeah, I. So I think that's in Columbus, and I think yes. Columbus is Friday. So that doesn't feel good. That's Friday. That Be spells Friday, Friday. Friday. That spells Friday prime time. You got to put the national player of the year on Friday at prime time. That feels bad, man. Oh. No, but the first punching, round. Punching your ticket. On Saturday, that would be the two seed. Anyway. To the second weekend might be my favorite feeling, right? You know you're going to play the second. Oh, weekend. But there's yeah, max. That's maximum day, day time. Ma- exactly. Oh, of, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Right. Like what there's about- something. There's a there's a feeling like it's almost it is I I we've all joked yeah. about this about Christmas morning, but it is that feeling like it is so magical. It's the Where week. It's the oh week. We, we've we've talked about this. It's the final four week. That's what we want. We want the elite Just eight one win. Time where every media outlet is talking about your squad. That's it. Remember that, when we went to the when we were us in and Carl. And we were the only people the, that want this. We were at the bar pre gaming, and I think Anish, you said something like. You asked about the earlier, and we were like, "There's no other games on." <laughs> it's like, "What's the, on? Who's on? This Who's is the only game? Oh, left. there are only two the only games game in town. <laughs> oh, that's it. We're, Yikes! We're oh, Jesus! And oh. Motor City Boiler says, "Are they going to put a one sixteen or two fifteen on a prime time?" Yes, they almost always do. There's always one of the one sixteens. Always seems to be at nine o'clock on one of those two nights. So or ten, whatever it is. And the and but. again, like I know we want to talk about the Purdue thing, but. The media loves Purdue now, and Purdue's about to have the National Player of the Year. And so they will want to put that. There aren't that many. There aren't, <laughs> there aren't that many You're stories. Right. And there aren't that many stories in college basketball yeah, yeah. right now, and they will yeah. want Purdue in primetime. And it's going to be the worst. Do not. So, like, here's the thing. I love you all. I love you all. Every single one of you that follows us, that listens to us, that's watched us or read us. It's great. We love all of you. There is a z- we've had this opportunity uh, presented itself to us. There is a zero percent chance I am watching a game live with any of you. None of you. <laughs> Nobody. I no. Uh, AJ's talked to us about doing a live right. watch party yeah. for the tournament, and I messaged yeah. Boiler Dad, and he said. Uh, first round only. That's the only option. I Absolutely not. That. There is you no won't even chance. Do the first round. What we're going to do is we're going to come in like celebrities, uh, wave until tip off, and then leave. And the to, four, to an the four of us aren't even going to be in the same room. Yeah. Right. No, we can't deal with each other at that point either. Can't I can't deal with, deal with people, man. I Listen, can't. Can I tell you guys a story about the Purdue IU game? Can I tell you 
Can I tell you about what happened? Oh, you were a mother you oh, fan. I don't, I'm amazed you didn't break anyone's spill, spill for the spill for Dude, the I was among what a gosh, terrible How did you put yourself in doing, that even saying this? So my wife scheduled my son's 17th birthday during the Purdue IU game. And I I I, and I don't know if they're they're listening. I don't even know how to say this. It was so hard because, <laughs> like, I love these people, like, a lot. This is the whole point, Anish. This is your point. <laughs> the these are my point. favorite people in the world, okay? That's them. my they're, – they're my favorite people. In the, I love these people. They are great people. And I can't watch a Purdue IU game with them because I feel no. like I want to kill them. Correct. That's not fair to them. They're great. It's on me. I keep saying it's on. It's my fault. This yeah. is my illness, it's a not sickness. yours. It's a sickness. It's a sickness. Yeah. Let it's me so deal bad. with it my own way. That's to get away from <laughs> all of you. Exactly. It's I just like, want to be yeah. in a dark room by myself with just the light of a television. My, uh, Michael I can't, has. I can't the eat right. anything. I can't do any. It's so freaking. Horrible. I no. I honestly like you know. I'll have a beverage or two now and then. You've seen me uh, to kick back during the tournament. I legitimately I can't. Like it is water or it is sparkling water at most for me. That's it. Right. I can't right. eat anything. It's just the worst. I'm not, I'm, I'm not like this during football season. It's terrible. Big Ted Ten says a Big Ten tournament watch party. Now that now you're talking because nobody you know that because I don't give a damn. <laughs> I want one word. I want honestly. I want one. I want to win, win, but even not no like win. we'll get a two and it's full. We'll get the top two oh, and yeah, it's fine. Who cares? Like it. It'll I don't be need fine. to waste our energy all weekend on that nonsense. Like uh, yeah, Adam's it'll be. Got it'll a be, point, yeah. by the way, guys. He may have something here, and I know it'd be very hard for you guys to get. But a selection saying? Sunday watch party at AJ's. <sighs> I could be there without like any hesitation. That would be awesome. I know I have no difficulties that you guys have goodness that'd be fun that'd be fun and i think i think they'd have those 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 fried pretzels there that i do oh, stuff cool. in my mouth oh the fried pretzels what so way, the pretzel the pretzel so adam told me uh, so the pretzel appetizer the thing that's so good about it is it's fried and then they add butter afterwards to hold the salt just in case it. just in case just, just in case, <laughs> in case of emergency you gotta happens. make the salt stick that's you have to. What well, cool cool way do you have to do it unless you put? Customer. But what would glue. you? What would you wear to AJ's if you were so to I, go that's to the said thing. AJ's? I always think about. Okay, so I get the I get the fried pretzel. Hmm. I get the um, uh, funnel cake sticks, hmm. and I'd wear a damn. I'd wear a a beautiful a double X retro. Uh, not, oh, come on, it's not, it's not <laughs> that big yet. I keep enough know, AJ's that might get there. Well, but I'd have a Martin Vintage. I'd get my favorite T-shirt. I'd probably get geared up like like I told you. I have a tournament shirt. Go to Martin Vintage, enter Boyle at checkout, get 15% off. Then go to eatajs.com. Pre-order, watch Selection Sunday. Is Adam oh watching? Is that what he did? And he just texted you that? He just hits in the – he's watching. He's there. He's over there. I'm not oh, – man. man. He's, right. he's in the – I mean, it doesn't take much. Oh, to there he is. Who he is. He's there. there. He is. He's got the best <sighs> – well, he's uh, you Tom. know, he's Tom from my. He's team. Tom, exactly. I never realized that. <laughs> no, he's a he's a uh, funny dude. Adam, you're not old enough to remember Tom from MySpace. Yeah, uh, he's got I took the family in there, by the way, uh, when I was out for the. And it was State incredible. Game. It sure. was phenomenal. My whole yeah. family enjoyed. By it. the way, you went to the Ohio State game. What a great choice of game to go to! <laughs> like uh, the oh my... first time that's actually worked out. Good. Well, Lord. think about what Purdue did to Ohio State this year. Okay, I thought about this after. Okay, so Purdue destroyed their season right by beating them barely and then Purdue set them right by beating the living hell at them because after Purdue beat up on them they got on a bit of a tear yeah i mean what? and they're a talented well, team like we've been saying oh, didn't, like, didn't what's his name didn't holtman say he actually didn't think he he said after the game he didn't think it was their worst He's like, I think we did a lot of things well. Produced just that good. He, he kind of was Dude, like, ooh, ooh, here's the thing about Ohio State fans. That, here's the thing about Ohio State fans that want to fire Chris Holtman. You're not going to get better. Like, just stick it out with Chris Holtman. He's I really good. good. He's yeah, his yeah. buyout's too big. He's gonna he's gonna be around for. At least he's really year. good. And he's got a good that class coming in again. That team's got talent. He can recruit. He's Talented. just he's just freaking settle down and just right. settle down and go yell at Ryan Day or something. Right. So so Jay just brought up something. I want to I want to talk to everybody about. I talked about this on. Twitter, I think. If I didn't, it was just in my head and I never typed the words on my phone. <laughs> Fat fingers didn't it's get It's in your drafts involved. up here. But yeah, it's all here. The, yeah, the drafts, the drafts are just waiting to be fired up. <laughs> he wakes up. How many, how 
many moral victories have we heard opposing coaches and players talk about this season versus Purdue? Oh, it's holy the, moly! The, the when they're way, not angry that they get whipped. No, the way people about. speak about Purdue and Zach Eady is yes. like a, the Boulder and Indiana Jones, where it's just like, what am I? I just got to get what out of the way. Them? And it's like, we can redirect crushed. it. It didn't, I didn't get crushed. So that's fine. Yeah. It's a victory. It's a good deal. We're not dead. We didn't lose. A, nobody died today. So we're really happy. <laughs> Mark Fuse, Over and over. Fuse, and then we're good coaches like, doing this. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 there would be, Zach Eady, by the way, a, a, you know, the Asian American diaspora. We both we both circled the same uh, bubble, stupid bubble in the demographic. We only got one bubble, by the way, for two, like a third of the population of the world. We got one bubble, Asian. Okay. That's it. So me and Zach Eady holding it You're down. This this same, is yeah. why it may be, Eady may be vaulted as like I think oh, it it's tough Listen, to go you above. Guys, and, and I say so. I have I have Asian people in my family. I'm going to say all Asian people do is work their ass off and kick your and quietly that's all you guys do you zach the Eady, best. it's You're it's the best. tough to go above carson who is if you were to create a player out of my favorite like basketball junk food it'd be carson edwards <laughs> it's just that he was my creator player and he's one more the, the baby boiler came in my year he's one more was a, a technician a right? sa- just assassin just, uh, same thing though Z- waiting the three for of, the moment to strike the three of them were electric but they were also kind of low key. Like they did, like they weren't, yeah. like Purdue has had yeah. kind of like Chris Kramer. Purdue has had Chris Kramer on their team, right? right. Like right. the guy that you Spastic. would hate yeah. just if he was on the other sideline, he would Brian be your Cardinal. least favorite player. Cardinal. Yeah. Oh, yes. a perfect. Those yes. are two, the, the epitome of those two. Like, I right. mean, it's that's Gene Cady ball. Right? You know what's going to blow your mind in a couple of years in each when Purdue gets a national player of the year and it's a guy that is a stone cold assassin and he's just better than everybody else. <sighs> he's quicker. He's faster. It's he not going to, they, they're not going to be able to say he was just big. They're not Gonna, he's he gonna could be, be a six eight. He could be something he like could a, be a six, six eight, eight wing. Hundred ninety five pound shooting for maybe a uh, maybe the nephew of the greatest basketball maybe. player to ever play maybe. in Indiana could be Who's good. To say who knows? Um, who knows? But Zach, there would be very few things that I want more than Zach Eady just dunking Purdue to the Final Four. Like it would be incredible. Like that is it's it's guys. Jay it's, knows this. Jay has made fun of me for this a thousand times. Oh, I don't think Anish has ever made fun of me. God bless him. I am an emotional wimp. I get oddly emotional at inopportune times. He is Jay. Jay's made fun of me for over a decade about this. No, different not things. A, no. Oh, you it's get, been a long time. I made fun of you when you used to get choked up at the Big Ten Journey. Yes, that's what I. Okay. Yes. No, so I this week, I have admitted week, to you there are things now that get to me in ways never would have right. 10, 15 years ago. So I'm with you. Okay. But yours okay. are like look fabric at you. Look, look, look at you. Things like that. <laughs> it's always <laughs> stupid Purdue. It's always idiotic, right? It's You're always like, idiotic. I told you I got a little – it just hit me right here when Edie was holding up the Purdue jersey mm-hmm. at the break on national TV on a Sunday afternoon. I can't remember what you came. That got me, okay? Because I was like, I'm proud of these guys. Like, I like an uncle. Like I love I'm proud. these guys. I Again. remember <laughs> I wrote something in 2019 before they played the Elite Eight game, and I showed you, and I did a collage of the great Purdue teams over the last 30 or whatever years. Yeah, and I yeah. said these guys have a chance to join this, you know, or maybe I was saying it before they yeah. went to the Elite Eight, and whatever it was, you were like, that got me. And I was that thinking about me. all exactly. those teams. I was like, there we go. I feel like it's 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 such a weird thing, and I because I have I don't remember the last Final Four, but I feel so blessed to watch a good Purdue team like do their thing. Like it's so weird. I love yeah. it. I love it so much. I've Even got an emotional the, attachment. The I've first got, half, the so first bad. half of the Illinois game was like, oh, these guys, these there they are. Exactly, there they are. There they are. Back. <laughs> and then they weren't back. And then they weren't back. But yeah. Illinois, so to be fair, Illinois went on a hot streak. It Illinois happens. Every yeah. every team in the tournament will be good enough to go on that kind of hot streak. Illinois is good, but every team in the tournament will be able to. They Guys, made the tournament for a reason. I hate to be the, I'm not going to be the, I'm not exactly. usually the optimist anymore. 
but you build a big lead so that you have some cushion. It's like exactly. you, they built you know it to... you're going to take a little break. That's it. <laughs> you're, you're eating well, a halftime, the halftime lasagna, lasagna or, right, or you have you're... a big lasagna meal. <laughs> I think so. so Halftime fettuccine guys, Alfredo. The is way my that, so I had Purdue fans. There are a lot of Purdue fans. <laughs> this this weird, horrible word that everybody talks about on Twitter is cope. Right now, that's the hot word. Everybody says cope, and it pisses me off because I'm like, that's the cope more, that's what it's cope better. Shut up. How about that? Okay, but a lot of Purdue fans right now are saying that Illinois game is an indicator. Sorry, I'm laughing because I think it's so silly, but. That Illinois game is an indicator of how far the Purdue program has come because yeah. they give up a 24 point lead, but they win. I know. Like, is that really? Is that? Hey, man, we lived through the Cincinnati un- underrated, <laughs> underrated gut punch losses where Cincinnati and Arkansas Little Rock. Arkansas Little Rock. More than, just, oh my God. Cincinnati, Cincinnati was, was, got, was a, Cincinnati was like a was seven the point first lead one. in 43 seconds to yeah. go, and they lost. With, with so. AJ and Ray Davis, and uh, I think the, the se- what ended up being the Super Seniors team, like all on that. That was AJ a low key team. Never winning a never uh, won a tournament game, game has so bothered sad. me for it's years. insane because it's insane. even though he deserved, I guess better. they have and themselves to the blame. I like them. I like them. I wanted good things for those right. guys. AJ saved Matt Painter's job, and Ray Davis. Well, we we have said Ray's okay, awesome. positive things about Ray Davis, but AJ Hammond saved Matt Painter's job. Can you imagine being Ray Davis, where you're a great scorer. Right in high school, you're right. offensive. Then you go to right. Purdue, and you're like, nope, you're going to be an all conference defender. Okay, I'll be great at that now. And now he's a now he's a commentator. He's, he's just great a, at that. Yeah. Like, now he's just like he, he should be the Big Ten basketball camps. Like he he should I'd be love the to Big be great Ten at everything. He should be the Big Ten's. I'd like, like to be good at one thing. I'll be real. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ray, Ray Davis should be the Big Ten's go to studio person. Big he's Ten good. Networks. I think. Really and good. Robbie should take somebody, Seth Greenberg, or or what's his freaking Seth Davis, one of the Seths. Uh, position on on game day, like Robbie. On yeah, Robbie should just be Rob, ESPN. Rob should with realize Benetti, what they have. Jason Benetti oh, and Rob. Oh, it's Hubble. my favorite. So Benetti is so, so good together. So, and you guys know I love Benetti because he's got CP and yeah. he's better than all the everybody. People. He's the best. He's, he's the best he's, one. He's a so pro. Good. Yeah, he's so good. I didn't. So I and I. I didn't know that until recently when yeah. he was kind of talking about it. And we were talking about it yep. because yep. of you know things, and so like. He, he, I didn't know that. And he was my, fa- he's been long been my favorite kind of announcer. Yeah. So it's like, there are pros out there. He had uh, the Illinois game for Purdue, which I was thrilled about. And the guy who was yeah. with him was the one I did not know, but was not like Sean. No, Sean, not painful. Was, randomly, right? randomly didn't Reese have a random Purdue game in the he middle did. of the season? In the middle of like yeah. February. You're like, what the hell? On like a Tuesday. Like, what are you it's, doing here, Reese? This is yeah. awesome. What's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the Dickie V one got so bad that I had to go back to radio. And guys, you should just do that. Bobby Buck. They're so. Oh, telling you the varsity so glad app, guys. You said that because I had them on in the car the other day. And I was going to say to you guys, Riddell is so good. He's so he's, good. He's Buckets so good. and. So oh, my God. Who's Blackman? Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. so, so good. And he, now he works in a. He's right up your alley. Oh, that's so good. He when Newman hit the three, he's like, "Hello, Newman." It's like, <laughs> oh, man, he's, he's an old man like the rest of us. He's great. He's great. Uh, it happens great. quickly. I mean, that's the funny thing. I remember when Anish was just a just a young, spry, a technically savvy lad. And now my hips hurt. From now your hips too hurt. Long. You don't understand anything that's happening technologically. It's Everything's too moving fast. too quickly. The buildings are tall. The loud music's loud. Yeah. I've okay, never so, had I've never had eye problems until now, and it's like, oh, my eyes are hurting oh, from is, looking at this oh, phone for too worse. long. Oh, oh, it's gonna get the much first worse. time you uh, the first time you maximize your Outlook font. That's that's when you just kind of like <laughs> maximize. Why is do the, I have any compunction about doing this? This no. This is the first time. This is the first time I have hit Control Plus to yes. like increase the size of things. This is the first <laughs> time this year. It's the first time I've ever Wonderful. done that. Oh, if you word documents. I'm like, why not just make it bigger? Like, there's no rules. I can do no, whatever I want. That's fine, exactly. <laughs> if I'm in the office, it's a little embarrassing because I go by and it's like, yeah. well, yeah, it's a. It looks Three like an SNL cue card. Yeah. Exactly. Like, <laughs> anyway, we, uh, we're running a little long here, so you guys want to a few uh, Twitter uh, comments, questions? Yeah, go ahead. Go yeah, on. do it. Why are you looking those up? Hey, I, I think these guys guaranteed us a, a selection Sunday. 
Oh, we're Honestly. doing a Selection Sunday something. Whether it's in AJ's or not, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll be live in AJ's. I'm going to anyway, see if I, sure I got to look at my calendar. Seriously. That'd be awesome. Um, all right. <laughs> so <laughs> what? That's what you just kind of did. That's how I like <laughs> I'm it. excited. So I'm Blue excited. Red Boiler Let's go. says, yeah. he gave us a would you rather. This is a terrible oh, Sophie's fun. choice. Would you rather the Boilers beat IU for the okay. Big Ten title trophy, a Big Ten tournament trophy, Okay. And then losing the Sweet Sixteen, or we'll take lose the other one for the third time. We'll take the other IU, one. We'll take the and other then, one, and then losing the Elite Eight. I think you probably want to go to the Elite Eight. Elite Eight. Elite Eight. We'll take three the other one. I do. It was it coming. Be kind of funny to lose to them three times, but still go further than the tournament. <laughs> go, go make the Elite Eight and the Big Ten title and the National Player of the Year, and just be a more generally relevant program. Yeah, sure. I'll mm-hmm. take three losses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Yeah. Um. The well asks, would you rather have the number one seed, I guess a, a one seed in the tournament, and have a Big Ten crew officiate all Purdue's games, or a two seed with non-Big Ten crews call all the games? I, it's more convenient. For the, the two seed for me is more convenient anyway because it's going to Columbus and New York. You're so clearly at peace with this. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, fine with it. It's ooh, good. I got a good one here. This is one that um, friend of the show, 2-5 owner, uh, uh, Mr. Booker. Uh, oh, wow. It. Look at that. If, no, no, no. If he were to listen, he doesn't. He doesn't oh, watch. Oh, he doesn't. No. He doesn't watch. I'm saying he would appreciate this one because this is like his. Uh, his the question. Little, the question. Right, right? This is a good one. All owls. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. The guy's name on Twitter is all owls are superb. I love it. I've never thought of it, but I guess they are. But they he are. Says, no argument. He says, um, here's a hypothetical trade off. What is the max number of games would you be willing to lose in a row to IU if it meant winning one title? Would you trade a 20 game losing streak to IU for a natty? 30, yes. where's the line? Yeah. Yes. 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 Any yes. Amount. yes. Yeah. That would make especially it funnier. If IU, it would make it especially, funnier. Especially if IU exactly. doesn't win. Like, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, right. then it yes. would be exactly flipping the t- like Purdue has every yeah. argument Purdue, against IU right. except for banners. So now let's rack up banners. I'm fine with it. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, Doc Wattis. You can always count on the Doc for something. He Love says, that good Doc. Would you rather have a nacho cheese fountain? Yes. yes. With a plate full of Oreos. It gets there, smelly. It gets or smelly. or a chocolate fountain with a plate full of cheese cubes. Chocolate fountain and cheese cubes. <laughs> That's exactly me. I chocolate can't do. I can't do cubes. the cheese cubes. I can't either of these sound good. Cubes. You could talk. I love yeah. cheese cubes. Chocolate yeah, fountain and cheese cubes. I can't, I can't cubes. do either of those. I'll be honest. My middle, na- you might as well change my middle name to chocolate fountain and cheese cubes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Doc also said he sent a second one. How far would Purdue advanced in a sixty-eight okay. team bracket pitting mascots against one another in Mortal Kombat? You may choose either Pete or the special fight. Now, train's going all the train way. never. The loses. special's going to run everything over. Train's going all the way. Who? What? So mascot Pete did beat the special. Pete would a hurricane, be... maybe. Yeah, exactly. So maybe. now we're talking about like maybe. massive natural. Is somebody is somebody. Is there a rocket, Toledo? Or like, maybe. is there a rock? Like, is there it? Like, is a slippery Boulder. rock? I don't know. Like, yeah, is there, there a are they the rocks? Is there yeah, a, some exactly. sort of mountain? Because all maybe. of the all of the anthropomorphic not ones are make the, right. not that make the tournament. Like right. I said, like the right. Toledo Rockets, I'd be a little concerned about. But they don't. Yeah, know. there you go. There you go. They could make like, the special. They could beat the special probably in a head day if you're aiming them, you know, head to head. Dylan Kuhn says he had a chocolate off. fountain at his wedding. Oh, well, we wouldn't know that, Dylan, would we? We wouldn't know that. No. We even ran into you and your betrothed before the wedding. We before didn't get the wedding. invitation. That's just like, and we that's were like, like boy, that this. sounds like it'll be fun. Just in our eyes. Oh, wow. Just here. Uh, um, yeah, Steve I, Benice, chocolate fountain, Ramaswamy. <laughs> that's Maniacally it. Steve, who has changed his name to Steve the Cornfield Sailor. Yeah. Says you don't like this one. Would you yeah. rather have a team of five J money sized Dowds or five Dowd sized J monies? Five Dowd sized J monies is not losing on a basketball court. Just Dude, the combination be, of size and ferocity is just for it's gonna else. be rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's tough. To get. <laughs> no, it'd be the other I mean, the point, of, the point of Dowd in oh, yeah, it's so so it'd be you one. Want, <clears throat> you want Dowd my size, but yes, one of them. I think so. But one, one you want five. Yeah, because it's Zach Eady. Yeah. You're throwing the ball into Zach Eady. You're good. It's fine. You got one. It's you're maximizing. I don't understand it's good. How you're getting there? Yeah, I don't get it. Uh, oh, These are all good. Lost. These are all A pluses. <laughs> um, if Purdue were to 
Add the noodle asks if Purdue were to add a new varsity sport, would you rather it be hockey or MMA fighting? I can't do him. I don't. Yeah. All of us I'm not, MMA, MMA makes, all of us me, are, makes me hurt watching. Yeah, it. exactly. All of us are too old because we, we like care about the people. Get an elbow to the face. It's just I like can't do it. It's just like it. What? What is? It, what is this person's uh, health care plan? Like this is what I think of <laughs> when I watch an about, MMA fight. I used to try to argue what's with this you recently? person's deductible. I had it's like argue. I used to like boxing growing up. Boxing was yeah, different when we were all young. I like heavyweight boxing. I was I was into heavyweight boxing. Yeah. And I had someone recently try to argue with me that boxing was much more brutal than MMA. And I was like, no, no. no but you no, can't I hit can't... your shin into their face in boxing, no. I'm pretty certain. A knee to the chin? I can't oh. watch any of it. I could never watch any of it. And I have been dying for a reason to be emotionally invested in hockey because I didn't grow up with it. Yeah. And it's great. It seems like a great sport. It is it's a great, great sport. sport. It's, it's great awesome sport. in the playoffs when I don't care, yeah. but there are clear stakes. Uh, but I, yeah, I really want Purdue to have a hockey. Uh, yeah, uh, they hockey. do. They just don't take it seriously. Yeah, it's a, it's um, a, okay, like I'll a... give you one more. Blue Ridge Boiler gives us a real one. He says, "Would you rather see Purdue play?" <laughs> the answer is neither. Would you rather see Purdue play Houston or Alabama in the tourney, and why? I think I'd prefer to see Alabama just to see how they would match up. Would first and Morton guard Miller? Listen to the way he's all whimsical. I think I'd be interested in the matchup. No, I want to play the teams that are terrible. I would like you yeah. to line up. All like Jay Dominion. said, I don't want to play anybody in the tournament. Just give us. Sorry, they they didn't show up. They're playing. Didn't you guys it. get a buy next. Thing, <laughs> yeah, next that's it. Yeah, just exactly. a COVID scare. Sorry, but here's Sorry. the thing. Here's the thing. I keep saying this to people. You play Alabama. <clears throat> You play Houston, you're at minimum, at the worst case, you're right. in the lead eight. At worst, right. Oh, so yes, make, the top I don't give games. a damn at that point. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Absolutely. I, I'll, well, um, I've tried to make that point way- in the past when everyone's like worried about the path. It's like right. you're going to be playing a national championship caliber team by the time yes. you get there. So yes. there's no. Let's, let's all think back it's to the ancient history of 2019 when Purdue That's had it. to play a former number one. In the round of sixteen, this is it was so the defending sobering. champs, the defending champs in a round of thirty-two. Yeah, goodness gracious, <laughs> it's so horrible. And te- that- every year in that era, we were all like, "Hey, you know the one team profile that Purdue doesn't want to play." Tennessee, Tennessee, or everybody Great. one through five. And when they played How about and got run off the floor, is I do, six I was eight there. Admiral right. Schofield. Like mm-hmm. we did Gosh. not want to play them. Good. It was like there were seventeen Admiral yeah, Schofields on the team. Yeah. yeah, but it took a, it took a double immortal double performance. Perf- yeah, I mean, somebody they posted that um, double immortal performance. It was they to took barely the, get by the, the clip of the Damn. step back. The step back when Klein was feeling it. Like, oh my when God. The heat check. The, the heat number, check. Where he just the I'm number one. No, oh, no, no. Yes, three pointer. Right. I've yes. ever step had back. in my life. I'm eight inches shorter than this guy, and I'm just gonna let it fly. It it That's reminds right. me of that. If you remember, Tennessee was throwing everybody at Ryan Klein to try to stop him, and they were playing well. Tennessee it yes. remind, a bad it, game. It reminded yeah, such a me big time game. It reminded me of that Patrick Ewing. Uh, clip where it's like, do you practice that shot? Step back one legged, <laughs> except he made it. Except he made yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, uh, Patrick Ewing, a... I wanted you to be so good, and you're not at all. The thing with Patrick Ewing is everybody wanted him to be good. Yeah. Georgetown didn't fire him last year because they they literally were like, who else are we going to go get? That's the guy we want to do That's this. The guy. He, we're going to give him every Brees, guys. last chance, and right. they have no choice now. Right? They have to fire. Him. So bad. Like. <sighs> I think they beat Butler this year, though. So Eric Hunter, uh, <laughs> sorry, literally. Hey, he's, yeah. he's had a couple of nice moments this year. Oh, he's had he's a couple really Eric good Hunter. games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me ask you guys a hypothetical. This is probably something I shouldn't even oh, yeah, say, but I'm going to say it. If Eric Hunter were on this team, would Purdue be better or worse, or the same? I think probably the same. We probably yeah. wouldn't have. Um, uh, 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 what's his name? Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, man. Um, oh, actually, I mean, like, probably would wouldn't Brady, have Jenkins, but uh, Jenkins, David Jenkins. Thank you. But mm-hmm. if if would Braden Smith develop the same way, you know, no. or be given the same opportunity would, if Eric Conner was on that. the? Did you see that? There was a great factoid that I think like. It's probably best. For, it's probably best for Eric Conner to be on Butler because he gets more playing time there, and it, and he got a full Purdue. Got, oh, like he, he it's fulfilled it. Well. He's a I he's mean, a beloved Purdue player, right? Um, and Purdue got two players that you know. Did you see? Like, it's the first time since 1981 
that Purdue has had a freshman start every game, and they had two freshmen start every game. That's incredible. Wow. That's nuts. Yeah, because um, he, like I always in my head canon was that Etwan started right away, and he didn't. He started like five or six games into the freshman year. Right, he came off the bench uh, mm-hmm. in 07 because that was old school Painter. That was Painter when he was trying to be Gene Cady instead of trying to be Matt Painter. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so yeah, like Etwan, even Etwan didn't. Uh, you know, it didn't start from game one. And by necessity, I have multiple people, by the way, Anish, I wanted to talk to you about this. That that say Painter in person looks very much thinner than he has in than previous what? years. And now all that tells me is they're bowing out in the probably the round of thirty two. No oh, man, he's looking great. He's looking great. And I'm you think he's him. dialed in in championship I think body? He's dialed in. He's got. Right. He already. He, we had a, a a question in the press conference about ribs or something like that about about grilling. It happens every two he's, weeks, and I love it every time. He's a freaking dialed Somebody in. brings it up. Uh, our our friend Chris Harder brought it up on the Matt Painter show. Asked him about smoking. He did. Meat. Yes, he did. And I think Painter loved it, but he couldn't like revel in it, which is a shame. Um, by the way, I smoked pork butt tonight. It pork was butt. it was so good. That's it. It's it was slow. so good. It's uh, just oh, d- slow dude, and a nice day. I smoked That's it at it. 210. That's 9 a.m. Oh. Mm. Because all you're doing is just standing outside and smelling meats. This is, oh. this, I realized. You go out and I, check on it, not because you have to with a, with just, a pit just boss. To, it's because just, you want to smell the. Just to smell the crisp. It, it knows. The fresh oxygen mixed with Puts meat. Puts a couple of his undershirts in there so that he can smell <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. A couple of days. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. It's hilarious. Oh. I literally had a hoodie on earlier today. My Wyoming hoodie, which you guys made fun of. And. Uh, I came in. I'm way up. Mrs. Boiler Dad says, "Wow, you smell like meat and smell." <laughs> You've said, never. I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am kind of. Meat. Well, thank you for the compliment, my lady. <laughs> thank you. Anish, by the way, uh, yes. Anish says I'm weird because I won't wear other teams because I only wear Purdue stuff. He said that. Oh no, I think you're right. I think. Thank you're... you. Uh, it yeah. says the guy that r- routinely shows up on the Purdue Quick Cast in Wyoming gear. But it's just Wyoming. Wyoming. Listen, I got to tell you, Wyoming been there. for me was like, I'm like, I'm supposed to be in big sky country. This is where I want to live. <laughs> this is it. This is it. If if if, if you had if you had two five money, Florida, you'd buy. Indiana. If you had two five money, you'd be buying property in, in Wyoming. I would. I would split time. I mean, I love it. I don't feel at home near the ocean. It terrifies me. I've literally got scripture on my wall talking about how scary the ocean is. It's in the Bible too. But man, you get in the in the mountains and you can breathe. Now the bad oh, happens so in the good. And no that's one's around, place. guys. I mean, goodness. That's my crazy. that's my happy place. You leave Let's me alone. Go. Yes. Oh. Wonderful. So I'll wear my Wyoming gear proudly. And it really, I bought it. It happens to be a Wy- University of Wyoming sweatshirt, but it is Wyoming. That's it. I sewed the the state flag on the pet on my arm on that one. So I was like, man, I love this place. The state flag of Wyoming or Indiana? Of Wyoming, yeah. Oh, yeah not Indiana state, on Wyoming. What does the state Wyoming. flag of Wyoming look like? It's a buffalo. It's a, it's a, I was a just say, old red. Of course it is. <laughs> of course. Buffalo. Oh, that's a dumb question. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Handle Jones. Yeah, Handle Jones. Got do it till it down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yes. cowboy up, baby. Man, I want to see us. The, now all I want to do is just every time. So we're going to Colorado for spring break for the kids. LBD is looking at Colorado and Boulder. And oh, we're sure. all going to think it's amazing. And that yeah. makes me sad because I really don't want to see Don't worry. Don't worry. By the time LBD gets to Wyoming or gets to Boulder, Dion's going to be gone. It's fine. <laughs> That's two years away. Yeah. You think it's over by then? I, I know. I think he's taking oh. the next step, whatever the next step is. By the way, Wyoming's – man, see, all of these state flags would be way better if we didn't try to make the state seal the same thing. Just put the buffalo on there. What are we doing? It's on every state way. flag? No. Well, yeah, the buffalo on every <laughs> state flag. Buffalo's awesome. I think it was it didn't uh, didn't uh, 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 Roosevelt say that the national animal should be a, a buffalo or something like that? I'm pretty sure that yes, he was yes. he was trying to say that it was it should be the buffalo instead of the eagle because the eagle's like you know basically a vulture like a vulture on steroids was the eagle says Thomas uh, you know says Theodore Roosevelt anyway uh, I think you're misquoting uh, him but I'm not sure. Yeah, he was like, this, this, the eagle sucks. We should change to the buffalo. 
This that's, is that's, a, I think that's a direct quote. Direct quote. Direct quote. I'm pretty sure. By the way, the buffalo woods. being the IU mascot is not true because that was a two-legged buffalo with no. What the hell are you guys talking about? I oh, you, you have, haven't seen the IU buffalo, buffalo as a it's mascot. Great. In it's the legitimately 70s. great. It has a mustache and everything. It's yes. great. It's like but a it human. Has no for, it has no arms. It's, it's like if Chewbacca were a buffalo. That's, without <laughs> arms. Without our, and like, and that one's never little, brought back on like t shirts. A 1970s IU cheerleader walking. Homefield has done it. Yeah. Have they? Yeah. Yeah. Homefield yeah. likes the buffalo because it's the only good mascot that IU has. The good, the weird buffalo. It's great. It's excellent. Yeah, it's in phenomenal. their defense, it's pretty great. Yeah. It's pretty didn't phenomenal. They have, they have a hilljack that looked kind of like Herbie Husker. Too, that's for a while. that's, yes. that's yeah, their mascot. There. Yeah, it's bad. They should go back. He to looks buffalo. like that. That that Hoosier looks like the. Uh, the guy on the mellow yellow um, bottles from the early eighties. It it looks like Southern Indiana. And shout exactly. out to Southern Indiana. <laughs> shout out to everybody that Jay and I played basketball with at Purdue. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we have hit the hundred minute mark. So uh, this is a good one. Yeah, it's a good, a good one. one. Nonstop action. Um, oh, yeah. uh, Handel balls. Jones uh, brought up Ryan Walters here, uh, but I will say Ryan Walters had a. I, I gosh, we've talked about recruiting twice: once for basketball and for football. Man. Walter's got a uh, a pretty good. It's a verbal. Oh, it's hey, a signing. It seems like this next era of Purdue sports is going to be pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Katie, speaking of Katie Gerald's, she's got something yeah, going too. Yeah, like yeah. I like is, her moxie, dude. Looking great when she yes. wore she wore a BTFU shirt pregame to the IU game. That's ballsy. That's it's ballsy. great. It is yeah. great, and that is somebody yeah. that understands Purdue. She is yeah. awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so it it's been a very good year. We we had. Everything that we wanted last year to have, which includes the hardware, to Mm -hmm. the Wikipedia links to say, like, we've got the National Player of the Year, we've got the Big Ten title. Now let's get, let's take the next step. Come on. Yeah, but we'll be there. We'll be with you next week. You know, we don't really care. It'd be nice if the Big Ten Tournament Championship is with us, but if not, who cares? We just want a good showing over the next week. Tune in to YouTube for all of Boiler Dowd's best musings guys they say uh joy deferred makes the heart sick is what is what the philosophers say we <laughs> just had exactly. to wait a... <laughs> i should get that tattooed <laughs> we just had to wait we just had to wait an extra year to get some of the things we wanted that's all and uh, mike babinski's a effing genius purdue is in the catbird seat for the conference both in football and basketball i'm sure they're going to repeat as west champs this year no doubt no doubt i mean i don't have a not even for a second. By the way, the football and basketball seasons have an odd parallel that they were off to that sprint start and we we're all thinking 10 wins is in sight. Let's not worry about it. <sighs> Let's not worry about it. Matt, you, so are you telling me that Matt Painter is going <laughs> to go? Purdue's going to lose by 100 in the and, tournament? And Matt Painter is going to take the Missouri job. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I it'll think, be fine. I don't think any of it goes that way. So we're it'll okay. be fine. We'll talk to you again next week when Purdue's uh, no, the number one overall seed, the Big Ten tournament champions, yeah, and uh, sure. looking like the best team in America. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Love you guys. Good night.